안녕하세요. 해연유학원의 김기용 매니저입니다. 오늘은 프랑스의 명문 비즈니스 스쿨인 에스텍, 그 중에서도 싱가포르 캠퍼스를 담당하고 계신 그 데비 텐님을 모시고 에스텍 싱가포르에 대해서 알아보도록 하겠습니다. 네. 데비, could you please introduce yourself and then introduce Aztec Singapore? Hi, my name is Debbie. I'm the undergraduate um, program advisor for Aztec Singapore. And yes, about a little bit about Aztec is that uh, Aztec is number one French business school. Right. And we have been here since 1907, so that's about 117 years of history. We are ranked the ninth European Business School by Financial Times, and we have our Triple Crown accreditation from AACSB, Equis, and EMBA. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, and only the top one percent of the business school uh, that hold this uh, Triple Crown accreditation. Yeah. Okay, so we have three campus in um, ESSEC. So our main campus is forty-five minutes away from Greater Paris, uh, which is in Sergi. And then we have our Singapore campus, our Asia-Pacific Asia campus, and also we have our Rabat campus in um, Mor Africa, Morocco. in Morocco. Morocco yes, yeah. that's right. Mm -hmm. So we do have another campus called La De France, but that is more for the executive program. Mm -hmm. So for the BBA program, it's only three campus, Sergi, Singapore and Rabat. So why do students choose ESSEC Singapore? What's the benefit of studying in ESSEC Singapore? Okay, so some so for students, they have three choices like where they can go. Uh, they can start their journey from the Sergi track or the Singapore track and the Morocco track. Mm -hmm. So for Singapore track, most students would uh, prefer to come to Singapore. Reason being is that Singapore is number one uh, safest country in Asia. Yeah. And of course, Singapore is considered like the financial hub and the most of the business and entrepreneur hub is happening in Singapore. And of course, the companies, the global leading companies for um, MNCs, they are mostly opening their branches in or they're even moving their headquarters over to Singapore. Right. And of course, uh, Singapore is very connected. Uh, so in Asia, we are just like a few hours away um, to around around Asia. Yeah. So for our Singapore campus, we are located in the One North, which is Silicon Valley of Singapore. Yeah. Um, and of course, we are very, it's very convenient because um, the MRT station is just right behind us. We have bus stop just in front of us. And of course, uh, around us, we have companies like Grab, Shopee, Ubisoft. And sometimes we do have uh, industry speakers that come to our campus mm -hmm. to have a uh, talk uh, in what they expect in the student, right? And of course, our campus not only have um, the undergraduate students, we also have our master students, PhD, MBA students, uh, and executive students. So executive students are C-suite level students or managers that are coming back to the school to learn more on how to they can um, improve their, their skills, right? So the opportunity for any of our students, they have the opportunity to network with all these uh, different range of students, yeah. And for CEOs levels, it's very hard to communicate with them if, if you're out in the market, right? But in this campus, you get the opportunity to speak to them on a personal level. Mm, yeah, so it's perfect environment for studying business in Singapore, yeah. Exactly. And for our cohort size for the BBA program, it's about 94 students per cohort. So that's a very small size. Um, that is where you can build a strong network with your friends and also with um, the professors. So professors know our students by name, yeah? And if there's any need for maybe referrals or anything, your professors are willing to uh, approach you. Uh, I mean, you can approach your professors, yeah? And network and also ref referrals for your future, right? And of course, um, in this campus, we also have a diverse nationalities. Mm -hmm. So this means where students uh, have uh, basically have a mixture of different culture and they get to understand their fellow mates that which are from different countries, um, you know, how they, what finds funny to them, you know, what's their culture in business and things like that. So could you tell me about like alumni, yeah. Your alumni, Our yes. Alumni and yes. Yes. Student and right. We do have a, a wide range of um, alumni, but we pick some of the top alumni that we have here. Mm -hmm. So these are students that gone through some of our programs, ranging from the bachelor's program, master's program, EMBA, PhD, uh, MBA program, right, and many more. So 
uh, for example, we have Chris Chong, CEO of uh, Capital Land. Then we have Modi Rani, uh, Director of Standard Chartered Bank. And then Mark Lezanor, MD of DBS Bank. Yeah, and many more. So they are all top uh, leaders within their industry. So, you know, this is something where the students are able to uh, relate. And especially, you know, how to say, right? Mm -hmm. The flock, uh, birds of a feather flock together. So yeah, the right. opportunity to network mm -hmm. is there. Yeah. Okay? Networking is really a crucial thing in business. So could you introduce about Global BBA program, please? Yes, sure, definitely. So um, for our Global BBA program, why people choose us is because one, we are consistently ranked number one. This means we are very strict with our requirements because we have to maintain our standards, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, it's all about the quality of the application. So students will need to exhibit in their um, application that uh, they, they are CV, it's outstanding. Of course, uh, academic, uh, strong in academic is also good to have. Um, but one good thing is that we do a holistic evaluation. So at the end of the day, it's the quality of the application. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Yeah. And then, of course, students will have that uh, opportunity to have that 10 to 16 months internship. So this is where they get a head start in your career. Yeah. Uh, and if you if you look at it, right, 10 to 16 months is considered almost one year. So this is a four year degree. So the, technically they're only studying for three years and actually one year is actually working, but it's breaking down into different different some uh, different years right so the students get to do their internship the minute they start their year one um, semester you see most of the students they basically this is where they get to uh, immediately practice what they learn in class in their year one and then uh, practice that in the real life uh, industry they implicate what they learn in, in exactly yeah. mm. exactly and then of course we have that global opportunities with uh, our 187 partners in universities um, for example we have like UC Berkeley King's College IE Bocconi Rotterdam uh, Dublin NUS Peking University Tsinghua Keio Yonsei yeah so these are all uh, top in the they are the top tier universities all, within all the, the country universities. exactly mm. they are the prestigious universities yeah. within the country right um so students will have that options and also we have that double degree options um some specialized track with the u.s universities okay so one good thing about this program is that yes we are a french school but the one good thing is that everything is conducted in english so even if you are going to another country maybe uh, in in spain or in italy right that where you don't speak the language right don't need to worry so much because um, the whole program even though when we do our exchange program and then of course our curriculum is focused 100 um, percent on business all about business in terms of accounting, economics, marketing, finance, yeah, and many more. Yeah. Okay, um, and the student will have that options to go to three different campus. So this is what we call inter-campus mobility. So Singapore, France, and Morocco. And all these uh, intakes are for the September intake. We only have one intake per year. Mm -hmm. Could you introduce the companies from ESSEC universities get opportunities? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. so here are some of the companies that recruited our students mm -hmm. um, ranging from different industries. So we have uh, like for example PwC, KPMG in the finance, um, Marriott, Microsoft, Chanel, LVMH, Dio, um, Danone, Ubisoft, Bosch yeah, and many more. So it depends on what the interests of the students, yeah. So then they should focus on whichever company that they uh, think that they have um, their career goals is leading towards. So could you tell me about the students' pass, the career pass, yeah? Okay, so Yunli is our current student. He's, she is our year four student. Uh, she graduated from Philippines. She's a Korean that graduated from Philippines. Uh, and she is also an academic excellence scholarship holder. So it's uh, it's how she managed to get that scholarship from ESSEC is that it's about her quality of her application, right? Mm, yeah. And then, okay, so she started year one in uh, Singapore campus and then uh, did her internship in Philippines. Yeah, year two, she continued with Singapore campus and did her social field experience with Lions Befrienders in the Singapore. And in year three, um, she did a double degree program with Peking Universities, uh, which is called the Future Leaders Program. And this program, it's a very prestigious program where they have all the different top prestigious universities all around the world coming together to Peking University to do this program. So sh she shared with us um, that, you know, this is a very rare opportunity where you get two 
prestigious universities um, in one degree, right? So she's doing the double degree track. And then uh, the other examples I can share is uh, Matteo. So Matteo is our current student. He's on our dean's list and uh, his high school is in Switzerland. Um, so she, he came to our Singapore campus and did. Uh, after that he did his um, internship with Porsche in Singapore and at the same time he co-founded a company called Take a Box. Mm. So it's not a surprise that any of our students um, uh, will be able to do startup because Singapore is a startup hub, right? Yeah. And they are very inspired to actually start their own company. And then in year two, um, she continued in our Singapore campus and then went back uh, and did his internship in Singapore and also in Switzerland. Yeah, year three, he went to Sergi for one semester and then he continued on our innovation management track. And this innovation management track is very special. This is with UC Berkeley. Uh, and after that, he did his internship and now currently he is doing his final internship with uh, Microsoft Switzerland. So for UC Berkeley track and also um, the double degree track, it's very, very special. So it's eligible for the top 10% of the cohort to actually apply. So this means um, for all the students out there, if you're targeting for double degrees, uh, targeting for specialized track, you know, you have to be uh, performing very well in your year one and year two. So this is based on ranking, yeah? So could you tell me about admissions and requirements? Yeah. Yes, definitely. So, um, we have four rounds and all these these rounds are for the September intake. Yeah, so um, we are currently in round four, which the closing date is on the April 25th. So I recommend to submit your application earlier, not on the actual day of the, the application closing. And then once the application is in, it will be reviewed by our panel committees um, on your quality of your applications. And those who are shortlisted, will be announced on the May 22nd, Paris time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So those who have been shortlisted will be required to go for the next step, which is an interview, the final steps, right? Then once those that con conducted the interviews and they are, will be reviewed by our committee again. And then once the panel have this fine, make their final decision, the results will be out by June 11th, mm -hmm. Paris time. Yeah. Online interview, right? online interview mm. that's right but if ever they come to singapore they can also do it in singapore if they want okay. to uh, and the other thing it's on the um requirements uh, so what we need is your cv uh, of course your three years academic transcripts yeah and then of um you will require to also write essays so look into the application and see what are the further requirements mm. so for those students who don't speak um, English like English is not the main uh, language conducted in the school they need to do uh, maybe the English test e English proficiency test yeah, TOEFL and IELTS TOEFL and IELTS yeah mm. and if let's say um, uh, if they are based in English uh, speaking schools there's no need for an English test yeah. so SAT is not mandatory it's not required it, but if you would like to, it's okay. I will we'll yeah. accept also. So the other thing, very important, it's um, for international students. Um, there is for referrals. It's not compulsory, mm -hmm. but it's good to have. So could you tell me about tuition fees and scholarships? Yes, definitely. So for tuition fees, um, there is two different prices. One is for, is for the EU national and one is for the non-EU national. So for the non-EU national is 17,300 euro per year, yeah. which is approximately Korean won about 25 million per year. Yeah. yeah. And then we do have scholarships. So scholarships are, uh, we have two scholarships. One academic excellence scholarship and the other is the regional diversity scholarships, which covers up to 25% of the tuition fees. Mm -hmm. And this, there's no separate application or no separate form that you need to fill in for this scholarship. It's all in the quality of the application. So it's very important that how you frame your application uh, submission. So the good, good point is the tuition fees is the same where, where you go, France, China, America. Yeah. You need to mention about the tuition fees fixed. Yes, so tuition fees, if you go to France or Singapore or Morocco, it's a, a fixed price. Yeah. And then one good thing is that some of the tracks uh, that you can share later on, which is our double degree track, it's the same rate as well. Yeah. Uh, even the specialized tracks, only the innovation management track, there is uh, additional fees to that. Yeah. Yeah. But for the rest of the track... Mostly, uh, yeah. 
mostly is are the same. 자 지금까지 이제 에셋 싱가포르 정말 프랑스의 명문 비즈니스 스쿨입니다. 아마 우리나라에서는 조금 덜알려질 수도 있는데 아마 유럽 분들 아니면 프랑스 분들한테 물어보면 정말 유명하고 프랑스 3대 비즈니스 스쿨이라고 불릴 만큼 아주 좋은 학교니까요. 에셋 싱가포르에서 공부하고 싶거나 관심이 있으신 분들은 언제나 저희 해연 여학원으로 문의 주시면 저희가 친절하게 상담 도와드리겠습니다. 네, 오늘은 여기까지 하겠습니다. 네, 감사합니다. 네. 감사합니다. 감사합니다.